Hi everybody, Vincent here. Today I'm talking about one of these. It's an APC UPS. This is a 330 watt unit, and I already currently own one of these uh, presently, and that uh, is actually in my office right here, and that's backing up my computer. But I wanted to back up my internet too, so I got another one. It's 330 watts, not a bad unit in my mind. And uh, this is the same model unit I've got that's over here in the corner. So I've literally just got another one now. And uh, I used to better back up my internet when my computer was in the same spot where my modem was. And when I did that, I found that I was getting about two and a half hours, maybe three sometimes, depending on my luck, uh, internet bandwidth wise, uh, or, or power bandwidth wise, if you will, before that, you know, I, I lost internet from it. And I, we've got a generator here, so it's really more kind of for the power blinks or for short term outages where I don't want to deal with the generator. But if it's long term, we'll get a generator anyway. So, you know, this right here is pretty much just going to be put in the basement because I want to keep my computer battery backed up, of course. And so for those that don't know what a UPS is, it basically has a relay in it, and that relay will then be able to switch. This is my understanding of the engineering. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is there's a relay and some circuitry in here that's detecting when there's power coming from the actual power outlet that this is plugged into, right, for normal, regular power or company power. And then if that fails where there's no power, it will then trip over to the battery automatically and everything hooked up to the battery inputs will be switched. Uh, whether the engineering is completely correct on that, I'm not sure if I'm explaining that right. But what I do know is for sure is that it definitely, these do work really great. And um, when I bought my first one two years ago, now it's been a while, it was probably one of the best investments I've made. So let's go ahead and go set this up. I'm gonna go and set it up in the basement, plug it in and yeah. Okay, so I apologize about the noise in the background, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to set the, the thing up. That noise in the background is a switch, and so that's got some fans on it. So, but let's go ahead and we're going to try and take it out of the box here. Got it, finally. And it says, turn product over, remove rear cover, connect battery. Okay, so apparently... I'm supposed to connect the battery. And on the side here, this is interesting. My old one didn't come with this. Let's take a look at this real quick. Look at this. A quality assurance. You're probably able to see this. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see this, I don't think, but a quality assurance test. <laughs> but you can see the label better now too. Yeah, there you go, see? But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, see the yellow there. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna rip it off. There you go. And let's see here. There. That's cool. Connect the battery. So I'm learning a lot about this. So this right here, here, let me, let me put this thing in focus there. Uh, if we look right there, look at that. There's, there's a battery area folks. There's a battery area. Huh? How about that? So let me just, gently as possible i guess i have to take the battery compartment lid off right and yep there's a battery in there that isn't connected okay well see i did not know this so my old one for those wondering did not have the um it did not have a removable battery so i just assumed because it looked the same that it was the same way there's the battery if you it looks like you're supposed to get it out, which makes sense, but I'm not really clear on how you how you uh, you get the battery out. It just seems like it should just come up. Maybe I need to turn the UPS over gently. Yeah, that worked. Okay. I, I didn't want to mess anything up here. That's pretty cool. So there's a red wire that goes to the red section from the looks up. Oh, it sparks when I try to plug it in. Um, let's try putting this thing on and makes a very good satisfying sound a nice snap there and i think we're ready to go so i'm just going to put it my old ups literally set right here i'm not even kidding just this exact spot so i'm just going to plug it in and it's flashing green i don't know if you can see that it's kind of a tight spot here in the basement so moving the camera is going to be hard i apologize for the bad angles um, but at least you can hear me good. The live should be picking me up pretty good on me. Um, 
But yeah, it's just it's just flickering green. Okay, now it's solid. So I guess it flickers when it first boots up or checking for stability or something. There's a USB on the top, and then there's also a USB on the side. So this is actually pretty, pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start plugging my different things in that I want protected. So I'm gonna plug in my modem. All right, here's my modem. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And you always wanna make sure you plug these into the battery protection area. So in this case, that's the first outlets right here. So let's do, well, I guess I'll do it on this side. Okay, at this point, uh, I'm good to go. Everything else down here, I don't really care about if it stays on, so we're ready to go. The UPS is in service. And if we pull the camera off the tripod here, you can see there's the, the device. All right, everybody, well, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just trying a different thing out here on Open Source, and I hope you enjoyed the video, like I was saying. And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff, right? I think a UPS is a pretty interesting thing. I will put a link in the description to the product I'm using. Uh, this was not paid for or anything, in case you're wondering. Not that I'm a big enough channel to get that anyway, but th this is completely personal opinion. Okay. Anyway, well, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, thanks for watching Open Source Tonight. Goodbye, everybody. All right, here we go. We're recording. Um, yeah, I'll have to do it. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's Vincent. Today, I wanted to talk about this right here. It's a UPS from APC. I already own one of these, and I figured I'd get another one because now that I'm up here in my office, am I in focus? Okay, we're in focus. Good to go. Never mind. <laughs> Blooper! I got the... Uh, I got the plastic mostly off. But this sounds great on the lav mic that's on me right now, folks. <laughs> ah, there we go. But let's go ahead and we're going to try and take it out of the box here. Probably wouldn't have hurt to have had a pair of scissors for this. But that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out, I think. Whew. Just like that, the UPS is plugged in. Do I have to do something to make it turn on? Yeah, I had to press the on button, okay. Because they, they, the outlets are polarized. Um, or not the outlets, I guess it would be the, the plug would be polarized, but anyway, let's see here. That was pretty easy. So we've got the first thing in. I'm gonna go ahead and I have this little thing. I wanna do an upcoming video about. Um, and what it is, is it will take, it's a mocha adapter, and what it will do, it will take Ethernet, and it will convert that into a coaxial signal, which is what this coaxial right here is going to, it goes to my office. And action.